In this video lesson, we're going to demonstrate palpation for the soleus muscle with the client prone on the right side of the body. The soleus is one of three muscles in the superficial posterior compartment along with gastrocnemius and plantaris. The soleus attaches to the head of the fibula and the proximal one-third of the posterior surface of the fibula and along something called the soleal line of the tibia. And from there, it runs down distally and then via the calcaneal tendon, also known as the Achilles tendon, attaches into the calcaneus. The soleus does not cross the knee joint, but it crosses the ankle joint posteriorly, so it is a plantar flexor of the foot at the ankle joint, and it has a slight component of inversion of the foot at the subtalar joint. Now, people usually think of the soleus as being deep to the gastrocnemius, and from the posterior perspective, it is deep to the gastrocnemius, but there is quite a bit of superficial exposure of the soleus on the lateral side, and there is some superficial exposure of the soleus on the medial side. To engage the soleus to make it contract so we can feel it palpably harden and discern it from adjacent tissue, we ask the client to do the joint action of soleus, which is plantar flexion of the foot at the ankle joint, and we can add some resistance. But the gastrocnemius would also engage, which would make it very difficult to discern the soleus from the gastrocnemius. So what we will do is we will knock the gastrocnemius out of this palpation protocol by having the client have her knee joint at 90 degrees of flexion. This will slacken the gastrocnemius so the nervous system, when we ask for plantar flexion of the foot, will preferentially engage the soleus instead. So let's first make sure that the client knows the joint action we're going to need. So Yoshiko, can you show me plantar flexion of the foot at the ankle? Very good. Relax, and I will add some resistance. Show me again. There we go. Now all of this over in here, if you see me strumming a muscle right here, this is all soleus relax there. Make sure you give the client a break, especially when we're working with plantar flexors and with hip flexors, uh, flexors of the thigh at the hip joint. Clients can easily go into a bit of a cramp, a spasm. So go ahead and engage, and just engage as hard as you need to engage. You don't have to compress, contract the joint too hard. And here is all soleus, all superficial there. Relax, and again, and the soleus stays muscle tissue right into its tendon into the calcaneus way over here. And relax, and relax, 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 relax. If we want to compare this, if she stays with the knee joint in full extension and now plant our flex the foot at the ankle joint, go ahead. Now we can see the gastrocnemius engage. So the soleus is superficial all over in here. Relax. The soleus can be palpated through the gastrocnemius if the gastrocnemius is relaxed. Again, we'll have to have her in 90 degrees of knee flexion. And I want you to gently plant our flex the foot at the ankle joint. Go ahead and relax. Now the gastrocnemius is soft, the soleus is soft. Go ahead and contract. The gastrocnemius is still soft, but now I can feel the soleus engage, and I can feel that through the gastrocnemius. Relax. And I can move a baby step down and feel it there. Relax. Baby step down and feel it there. Relax. And baby step down. And now I'm past the gastrocnemius, muscle belly, and soleus is superficial. Relax. On the lateral side here, of the gastrocnemius tendon, and then we'll have to show this palpation from the other direction so you can see the medial aspect of soleus. Now we've changed the uh, camera angle, so we're looking at the medial surface of the right leg. And to find the soleus on the medial side, it has a lot of superficial exposure, but only in the distal half. So go ahead and plant our flex, Yoshiko, and there's soleus there and there, and there, and there, and there, and running right into its tendon, deep right in through here to the calcaneus. Relax. Go ahead and engage again. And going back the other way, I can feel soleus here, and I lose it right about here. 
the locks. It's not superficial right over in this area because over in here would be popliteus. We should theoretically be able to palpate soleus through the gastrocnemius on the medial side the way we did on the lateral side. And the way we would attempt to do this is by having the knee joint at 90 degrees of flexion as we do right now. So the gastrocnemius will be inhibited by the nervous system. And then when she goes to plant our flex and just gently to moderately plant our flex, we should have the gastrocnemius remain relaxed and be able to palpate soleus through it. But it relax. But in this particular case with Yoshiko, the medial head of her gastrocnemius is tight at baseline tone. So I cannot palpate the deeper soleus through it because even when she's relaxed here, the gastrocnemius is tight. But normally we would be able to to successfully palpate the soleus through the gastrocnemius on the medial side, the way we showed it on the lateral side. So this is our palpation protocol for the soleus on the right side of the body with the client prone.